set by silk cock So we're seeing the uh, increasing of these uh, war people and the pestilence that we're seeing in our war state. You know, it's only going to be tense and increasing. So we you know, uh, are increasing, the people are increasing, the pestilence are increasing as well. So this is Jeremiah 28, verse 9. It says, The prophecy was prophesied of peace when the word of the prophecy come to pass. It says, uh, Then shall it says, then shall the prophecy be known that Yahweh has shown the same. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Yeah, this is Salakia. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 1. So everything there is a season and a time for every purpose on heaven. Whilst we are living in a uh, modern day times, a season and every purpose on heaven. Especially these uh, biblical signs and the signs of times and modern day times. You know, and these increasing of uh, war, people, and pests that we said in our world today. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 2. And a time to be born, and a time to die, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck up the wisdom's plant. Ecclesiastes plus chapter 3, verse 3. And a time to K-I-L-L, and a time to heal, and a time to break down, and a time to build up. Con, uh, con, smock. Ecclesiastes plus 3, verse 4. And a time to weep, and a time to laugh, and a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Ecclesiastes plus 3, verse 5, and reads. And a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, and a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embrace. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads. And a time to get, and a time to lose, and a time to keep, and a time to cast away. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 7 reads, and a time to rain, and a time to sow, and a time to be silent, and a time to speak. Cross the way in an increasing time of speaking of uh, war, evil, and pestilence. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 8, and a time to love, and a time to HATE, and a time to war, and a time to peace. Cross the way in a time of war, and a time of evil as well, too. Which that means HATE, all the systems, and heavy judgments, and so on the other of preaching. And we're living in a time of war as well, too. So it's only going to be, uh, you know, it's only going to continue to show off in these uh, times. You know? This is uh, crazy acid plus one verse nine. It says, uh, the thing that has been is that what should be, that what should be done, that what should be done there is no new thing on the sun. Right, this is a uh, modern day Tower of Babel. This is a uh, modern day Egypt. This is a uh, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. So, you know, there's no new thing on the sun. Just like the prophets of old, you know, they was prophesying against great countries and great kings of war, evil, and pestilence. That's what we are here prophesying in modern day times as well, too. You know, prophesying against great countries and great kings of war, evil, and pestilence. So there's no new thing of the sun. This is uh, Ecclesiastes plus 1 verse 10. Is there anything where Paul say it may be said, see, this is new. It have been already the whole time, which was before us. Uh, Ecclesiastes plus 1 verse 11. There is no remembrance of former things, then there shall be any remembrance of things that are to come. There shall come after time. And this is uh, Daniel 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time, Shemach is standing up the great prince, who is standing for the decision of thy people, right? The decision of thy people, which is the Israelites. And there should be a time of trouble as we are approaching those times, such as never was since that was a nation. Even to the same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, and everyone shall be found written in the book. Daniel 12 verse 2, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wait to everlasting life. Son of shame, and everlasting temple. And this is uh, Daniel 12 verse 3, and it reads, and they shall be wise. It says, They shall be wise and shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars of heaven and ever. This is uh, Daniel 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shall the words of the book, even to the time of the end. 
many shall run to a fold, and now shall be increased. Right, so many shall run to a fold, and that now shall be increased in the last days. And that's what we have seen. And this is the prophet Jeremiah, my great forefather Jeremiah. The chapter of Jeremiah 30, right, the chapter, the prophet Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 1, it reads from the Holy Scriptures. It says, the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Jeremiah 30 verse 2, thus speak of the words of Yahweh of Israel. Write all these words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. This is a prophet Jeremiah 30 verse 3. For lo, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people. Israel, Judah, saith Yahweh, I will cause the return to the land which I get to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Jeremiah 30 verse 4. I mean, Jeremiah 30 verse 4. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel, concerning Judah, right the Israelites. Jeremiah 30 verse 5, but thus saith Yahweh. We had heard a voice of, of uh, a voice of a trumpet and a fear of non peace. Jeremiah 30 verse 6. Ask ye now, see whether a man just a child. Wherefore do I see every man of his hands and his loins and a travail and all the things I turn into hell? And this is uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. At last, but that day is great, so none is like it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, so he should be saying about it. And I'm on rock side that we say during the uh, time of Jacob's trouble, you know, once he comes into the full of play. And these are the times we're about to enter into, you know. <laughs> this is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, of verse 40. And I will stand upon my watch and set upon the top when I will watch the seat where I shall answer unto thee, when I shall answer when I will prove. This is uh, Habakkuk 2, verse 2. And you will answer me and say, right, this is to make a place on the table that he may run and reach. Right, so let's do that reason. Habakkuk 2, verse 3, for the fancy death and upon the time, but I can't speak, not by every separate way for it, because it will surely come, it will not bear it. Uh, now this is the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 46. In the Greek, it says, Please your heart faith, like Paul Jeremiah. It says, Please your heart faith, be careful the woman that should occur in the land. And a woman should come both one year and after that year. And another year should come a woman, by the land rule against rule. Right, so by the land rule against rule, that's what we say in the modern day passage, like the ancient And this is uh, Isaiah 13 and verse 17. It says, uh, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which they shall not regard silver, and as the gold, they shall not delight in them. Right, so the Russians are going against uh, Americans. So the Happy Father is going to continue to stir up the Medes, which is the Russians against Babylon. You know, and as the gold is silver, then they shall not delight in them. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah. Uh, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 17, verse 1, and it reads, It says, The burden of the masses, because the masses are taken away from the city, and their shield is for a Right, so that's what we see in the past. It's from Syria. They have to be taken away from the city, and that shall be as war heat. This is a war zone torn country. Uh, the nations of cross border conflicts is heating up amongst the nations. So that's only going to continue to increase. That's in progress as we speak, you know. This is uh, Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Bible came unto the same. Ezekiel 38 verse 2. It says, uh, the son of man set thy face against God and let God, which he because of Meshach and told and two all and prophesied against him. Right, so they're prophesying against God and let God, which he because of Meshach and all, which represents the way of the Russians. Ezekiel 38 verse 3. Thus saith Yahweh, the power of the Lord, for him against the God, which he because of Meshach and Tupac. Right, so heaven follows the house himself against the chief of Meshach and Tupac, which represents God and let God, which is the way of the Russians. The Russians. Ezekiel 38 verse 4. I will turn thee back and put places to thy jaws. I will bring thee forth with all thy army, force and force. All the time, force and all sorts of army. Even a great number of the shields, all the pen and swords. Right, so the heavy father's going to continue to put that uh, hook to Mexican jaws and the Russians. So be in that warlike mindset, that's what we're seeing. That's why we see the Russian Ukraine situation is intensified. And Russia versus uh, NATO is going to. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 5. It says, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, but all of them shield of him. Right, so they're going to be fully built with armor shield of him in these last days. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6. It says, Gomer and all his bands out of Tokemore, of the North Quarters and all his bands, and leave people with him. Right, who well, Iraq and Syria, the uh, Turkish armies get the Kurdish armies. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 7. It says, uh, Be thou prepared for temple and seven, all my companies that are assembled unto thee, be thou a God unto them. Right, so Russia, which represents God, and may God which represents the bear of the Russians. So Russia is going to be a god to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey. As, as you know, as as they start heating up over there in Western Asia, especially between Iran versus uh, Israel. So that's something going to escalate over there in the area. But definitely Russia is going to be a god to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey. 
that's the end they're going to be targeting the Israel Divisible in these last days. And this is uh, the prophet Joel, chapter 3, and verse 1. It says, uh, For behold, in those days and that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem by the Israelites. Joel 3, verse 2. And I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, right the house of God, the Asia. And I will plead with them for my people and for my uh, heritage, Israel, whom they had scattered among the nations of part of my land. Right so they part of the heavy father's land. The scripture says uh, Jerusalem should be tried down to the Gentiles in the field, that's what we were seeing. Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. They have cast lots upon my people. They have given a for a hog, but so the for wine. Where I did that to the children of Israel, which you know had the father the pride that was passed. This is uh, Joel chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, uh, Ye would have you to do with me, O Tyrians, like Don, for I may stand medication, and all the coast of Palestine, those Ishmaelites. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, then I will turn your recompense upon your own head, right? That recompense upon your own head, what they did to the children of Israel. From ancient times all the way to modern times. Joel shot the clamorous fire, because you had taken my silver and my gold to carry them into the temple, my good to press things. Brought the heavy father's people to have the heavy father's eye and showed the people of our forefathers of Israel. Joel chapter 3 and verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, right? The Edomites, that ye might remove them far from their borders, which still to this day. That's why we've been scattered among all the nations and left this. Yet this day we still in the land of our captivity, because our Judah and Jerusalem were pressed together. On Amongst these uh, nations here. Joel chapter 3 verse 7. Behold, I will raise them up out of the place we had sold them, and I will turn your recompense upon your own head. For I saw these nations had sold the children of Israel, especially the Edomites and the small habits and other nations that took took hand in hand with them as well, too. And I will turn your recompense upon your own head, right? They're gonna return, uh, the heavenly father's gonna return that recompense upon their own head these last days. Joel chapter 3 verse 8. And I will sell your son and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. They shall set him to the severities, to the people fall off from the house as spoken. Right, so these are uh, Edomites, they're going to be in the hands of the children of Judah, men, women, and children of the Edomites, and small habits as well, too. They, they shall set him to the severities, those people up in uh, Yemen, to the people fall off from the house as spoken. The prophet Joel, chapter 3, and verse 9, it says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Right, that's what's taking place in progress over there in Western Asia. That's why we're seeing the uh, intensifying of the nuclear escalation and tensions are heating up between the nations, especially the cross-border conflicts, the, uh, you know, the cross-border conflicts between Lebanon and Israel and the pro-Iranian groups going against the Israel Defense Force. So it's heating up over there in the area, especially Iran versus Israel as well, too. And you have, uh, I would say, the United States Army and the uh, Israel Defense Force and the uh, UK as well, too, are their coordinates and forces going against the pro-Iranian groups over there in Yemen and over there in the Red Sea as well too, so it's going to go to taste and increase. And this is other prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshares and swords with funny hooks and spears, and let the weak stand strong and right of these armies and nations building up their nuclear capability against their adversaries. Now we're starting to see let the weak stand strong. This is other prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come on Eden, which is the armies of the other nations, as they gathered up together over there about the effects of the control of the and gather yourselves together round about this to cause thy mighty ones to come down on your house. This is the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 12. Let the heathen be awakened and come up against the mountain of Hosebeth, which is the house of God. But there I will sit and judge all the heathen round about, which is the armies of the other nations. Joel, chapter 3, verse 13. Put ye in the sickle for the house of the river, coming eaten down. But the rest is full, and the fast will be full for that wicked is great. Prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 14. Multitudes and multitudes of God's decision. But the day of your house is there about the city. Joel chapter 3 verse 15. And the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall be dry and they'll shine. Joel chapter 3 verse 16. And the power of Yahweh shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice in Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, and Yahweh will be the hope of his people, and the scraping of the children of Israel. For I said, the heavy father with the hope, and he will be the scraping of the hope of his people, and his life shall be. Joel chapter 3 verse 17. So shall you know that I am in our your power dwelling in the side of my holy mountains. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and then no stranger shall pass through her anymore, which is the other nations. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down in new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and the fountains shall come forth, and the house of Yahweh shall water the valley of Chittim. And this is uh, the prophet Joel 3, verse 19. 
Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. But the violence against the children of Judah, because they had shaken so blood their lands to this day. Joel chapter 10, verse 20. But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem for generations and generations. Joel chapter 10, verse 21. For I will cleanse that blood that I have not cleansed, but I was dwelling in society on time. So I had to rock this on the his people, the uh, Israelites. As I bring up that uh, Joel 2, verse 27. Now, this is uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 27. So it says, that He shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, right? The real, the real Israel, the, the Israelites. I am Yahweh, your God, and none else. My people shall not be ashamed, right? So we, never, we shall not be ashamed inside the heavenly body. Yahweh has made his people come. He's coming back with his people, the uh, Israelites. So this is uh, Slovakia. Now I'm going to get into that Ezekiel, the uh, 35th chapter. And this is uh, Ezekiel, Salakia. Got this uh, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Ezekiel 35, verse 2. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against him. For I shall prophesy against uh, Mount Mount Seir, which is uh, Idumia, I shall speak that way to play where he dwell at these uh, Mount Seir, especially at Mount Mount Seir, just like ancient Mount Seir. Just like the prophet of old was prophesying against ancient Mount Seir, now in modern day times. We're prophesying against the modern day Mount Seir. Ezekiel chapter 45, verse 3. And say unto the dust said, How will thou behold all Mount Seir? I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. And I will make thee most desolate. Ezekiel 35, verse 4. It says, And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh thy power. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Because thou hast perpetual hatred, hast shed the blood of the children of Israel still to this day. It says uh, Zechariah 11 verse 5, who possessed the slave and holds himself in the gift of destiny, saw Egypt still to this day. By the force, by the sword, in time of their calamity, in time of their iniquity, had the end. Ezekiel 35 verse 6. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh, and I will compel thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Said thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Ezekiel 35 verse 7. Thus I will make Mount Sierra most desolate, and I will cut off him that passeth out, and him that returneth. Ezekiel 35 and verse 8. Ezekiel 35 verse 8. Ezekiel 35 verse 8. Ezekiel 35 Ezekiel 35 and verse 8. It says, And I will fill his mountains with the same man, and thy uh, hills, and thy valleys, and all thy earth shall they fall. They are slain from the sword. Ezekiel 35 verse 9. And I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy cities shall not return, and ye shall know that I am your house without power. Ezekiel 35 verse 10. Because thou hast said, These two nations, these two countries shall be none, and we will possess wherever your house without power is there. Ezekiel 35 verse 11. Therefore, as I then said, I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out the hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 12. It says, Thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, Yahweh thy power, and I have heard all blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel still to this day, saying they are laid waste and they are given us to, uh, to consume. Ezekiel 35 verse 13. Thus with your mouth you have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me, and I have heard them. Ezekiel 35, verse 14. Thus saith your house thy power, when the whole earth rejoices, and I will make thee most desolate. Ezekiel 35, verse 15. As thou didst rejoice as the inheritance of the house of Israel, said to the day, because it was desolate, so I will do unto thee, that thou shalt be desolate all Mount Seir, and all the Adimia, and all the they shall know that I am the house thy power. And this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahweh. It says, Concerning Edom, we had heard a rumor from Yahweh, and the ambassador was sent among the Edom. Arise ye and let us rise up against you. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. This is uh, Ezekiel. Okay. The scripture says, uh, The Heavenly Father, he will make peace. He will make peace with it. Uh, the Heavenly Father will make peace with your enemies. You know, he will, the enemies be at peace with us as we uh, trust the ways of Yahweh uh, and Yahshua. It's uh, Elam. Elam gave me some of food and stuff. Hey, so, why do Yahweh and Yahshua for that? This is uh, Ezekiel, I mean, Obadiah 1 verse 2. It says, Behold, I mean, you do have Israelites that scattered among Elam as well, too, but that was an actual Elam, you know. So that's why the scripture says that even the enemies would be at peace with you, you know, hey, why do Yahweh and Yahshua for that? This is the book of Obadiah, one of us one. Because normally Elon, <laughs> you know, Elon written on like Jake like that. I'm surprised he even gave a gave me a food, you know. 
hey, my scripture says, even the enemies be at peace with thee, whose, whose mind is stayed on the most high, and trust in ways in heaven body house, and do the, uh, the labor and work and ministries in the heaven body house, even our peace, enemies be at peace with us, hey, body have our mouth shut. And this is out of the book of Obadiah, one verse one. It says, the vision of Obadiah, saying, thus, uh, the vision of Obadiah, thus, saying, how? And, and, and uh, that's the spirit, too. Those uh, those uh, Elamites, they've been definitely getting those uh, Elamites over there. They def they definitely been getting jacked up over there. They've been getting hit by floodings. They've been getting hit by protests and stuff like that. <laughs> and maybe how about I guess uh, yeah, how about Shemuel Shaft must be humbling those uh, Elamites over there. Right, because you got those uh, a lot of those uh. A lot of those Afghans, those are uh, Elam Elamites as well, too. They've been getting hit by earthquakes. You know, they've been hit by uh, seditions. They've been getting hit by these uh, wars and stuff like that. They've been hit by over there in Bangladesh. They've been having their protests over there. And then they've been having those uh, floodings over there. They've been having those earthquakes over there. Hey, so the hey, Heavenly Father says, uh, just like the Heavenly Father is visiting us for our sins and our transgression and our iniquity, hey, the Heavenly Father has been leading to other nations as well, too. So the heavenly father starting to uh, hey, the heavenly father is, is definitely going to be humbling these uh, other nations in these last days. That's what we're seeing, and he's going to do it in multiple ways. He's going to send it through, uh, he's going to send it through vengeful spirits. He's going to send it through earthquakes. He's going to send it through tornadoes. He's going to send it through festive plagues and other different various uh, ways as well too. You know, hey, just like the heavenly father is jacking us up for our transgression, our niggas, and our sins that we had turned against him. That's why he's been jacking us up. And he's going to be jacking these other nations up in these last days as well, too. He's going to be humbling them as well, too, you know. So, you know, I just want to add a side note to that. So, this is out of the book of Obadiah, 1 verse 1. It says, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahweh, concerning Edom, we have heard a, a woman from Yahweh, and the ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise and let us rise up against her in battle. Obadiah, down to 15%. Okay. Yep, this is out of the book of Obadiah, 1 verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that are great as fire. Christ of the heavenly Father has made these small habits and these uh, Edomites small among the heathen because they're small in number. This is uh, Obadiah 1 verse uh, Obadiah 1 verse hey, even, these, uh, even these other nations are, are overpopulated. Even these other nations are made more populated than these uh, Edomites, you know. Because at first the, uh, cause at first, all the nations were a dark skin complex people. Due to uh, Esau, Edom, his uh, colonization and taking over and stuff like that. That's why you got all these nations that's lighter skinned or potentially be mixed, so called mixed. You know? Esau, Edom has laid the seed among all the nations, you know. That's why all these, uh, that's why all these nations are uh, lighter skinned. That kind of look like Edom, Edomite features. It's like over there in, uh, over there in Ebon, because you had the British, they uh, colonized, uh, you know, because the uh, the Edomites they had colonized Britain. I mean, I mean the Edomites, uh, Edomites had colonized uh, over there in India. Because you had that's why it's, uh, that's why it's great divisions among those Pakistanians of the lighter skins and the darker skins. Because what Esau Edom has done, hey Job nine, or Job nine verse twenty four, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, cover the face of the judge. That bro, he had that uh, that image of that Cesare Borgia image, painting the likeness of his image. You know. That's why he had to see to see the whole world with that false image of uh Cedric worship. You know? That's why scripture says uh, Isaiah 29 verse 16, even though Esau Edom is being exposed, that's why the nations are rising up against him. And to keep this in mind, uh, I mentioned this about like a couple of days ago. You had uh <laughs> I mean I understand these other nations don't like us as well too, but these other nations are rising up against Esau Edom as well too. Because you had uh I would say like last week over there in Turkey, you had these uh Edomite military men. You know, I believe they were stationed over there. And then <laughs> you had those uh, Turkish, there was some organization, Turkish young groups, you know, they was uh, putting them back over the Esau Edom's head. He was telling them, go home, Yankee. You got uh, the blood of the Palestinians and the blood of your hands. You in the United States of Israel. Hey, that's that Job 18 and verse 11. These other nations are rising up against Esau Edom and these uh, small houses as well, too, you know. And that's going to continue to increase in these last days. Hey, even Esau, Edom rising up against him, rising up against himself. Even Esau rising up against those small has as well too. So we're going to see this a lot because that uh, what's that scripture says? Uh, Jeremiah thirty verse seven. 
you know, all these verses are taking a full effect on these other nations as well, too. Just like the heavy father been jacking us up due, due to our transgression, our, our lawlessness, and our iniquities in the sight that we've been doing the sight of heavy father. And the heavy father is jacking these other nations up as well, too. But that's the righteous balance of the heavy father, you know, like it says in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14. This is out of the book of Obadiah 1, verse 13. The cry of thy heart hath deceived thee, right your heart is your mind. But the heart will deceive above all things. The cry of thy heart hath deceived thee, without the what in the cluster of rocks. Who habitation is high? Who said his heart, right your heart is your mind? Who shall bring me down to the ground, right as he saw Edom? Obadiah 1, verse 4. Though thy exalt thyself as an eagle, as thy set thy nest amongst the stars, then so I will bring thee down, said Howard. And this is out of the book of Obadiah 1, verse 5. It says, if the thieves came to thee as a robber by night, have thou uh, cut off what they have enough, so they stole them till they have enough. If the great people came to thee, for they have not less than great. And this is the book of Obadiah 1, verse 5. I mean, Obadiah 1, verse 6. How are the things of us, so how are the things of Esau search out? How are the hitch things I saw of Obadiah 1, verse 7. All the men of my brethren have brought thee into the borders. The men that were uh, east of thee have deceived thee. I right, see the nations who see some of the people. They see the Israelites. They said, the scripture says they oppress the man his own house and his own heritage, as he saw Edom. But after he saw the well left, now these nations are rising up against him. And why do you have a shot? Just like hey, just like these other nations was against us, hey, all these other nations against he saw Edom you know. That's the righteous balance of having fought. Now of course we now we understand these other nations are still not gonna like us like that. We understand that. And we're not going to like each other world too. But now we're starting to see Esau, Edom, you know, all these nations are going against them. You know, now uh, what he did to these other nations, now that's coming back on him. Rightfully so, in the body of Hashem Shah. As I mentioned at Jeremiah 30, verse 7, you know, I mean, Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. It says, Obadiah 1, verse 7, all the men of my confederacy have brought thee even to the borders. It says, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. It had prevailed against thee. They eat thy bread, have laid a wound unto thee. There is no understanding in him, right? There's no understanding in Esau. Either. The ultimate vagabond on the planet Earth. This is uh, Obadiah 1 verse 8. Shall not in that day say, I will even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding of the Mount of Esau. This is out of the book of Obadiah 1 verse 9. It says, All thy mighty men of Timon shall be dismayed, and to the ends of everyone that the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Right, so once they thousand years of captivity is up, there's going to be no more remain in the house of Esau, rightfully so. Obadiah 1 verse 10. But I violence against thy brother Jacob shall recover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Obadiah 1 verse 11. In the day that stood us on the other side, in the day that strength came away captive, and his forces and his corners into his gates, and passed lots upon Jerusalem, even thou as one of them. This is another book of Obadiah 1 verse 12. But thou shouldst not have not entered. It says, But thou shouldst not have looked on the day of thy brother, and the day that he came a stranger. Shout out to that brother Howard of Top 15, just to come to me. I'm going to read that again, Obadiah 1 verse 12. But thou shouldst not have looked on the day of thy brother, and the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldst thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah, in the day of the destruction. Neither shouldst thou have spoken proudly in the day of the rest, right though a small half of these are Edomites. Speaking boldly and proudly against the children of Israel, his brother uh, Jacob said the same thing. The scripture says, The elders shall serve the young. Obadiah 1 verse 13. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gates of my people in the day of their calamity. Thou should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Obadiah 1 verse 14. Neither should, it says, Neither shouldest thou have spoken in the cross. It says, Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossroads, those to cut off dead that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have. Uh, Deliver those up that did remain in the dead distress. And this is out of the book of Obadiah 1 verse 15. For the day of your hour is near upon all the heathen, which the other nations have done and shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall turn upon their own head. Obadiah 1 verse 16. For as ye have drunken, for as ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continuously right the other nations. And they shall drink as though they shall not down, they shall swallow down as they shall not go as they not been. Obadiah 1 verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be, shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. On the house of Jacob shall be that that resist. And this is out of the book of Obadiah 1 verse 18. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Esau is stumbling. In the house of Esau is stumbling. 
and they shall kill them, they shall devour them. And there shall not be any remain of the house of Esau, though your house has spoken. Uh, Obadiah 1 verse 19. And they of the south shall possess the mountains of Esau, and they of the, the plain of the Philistines shall they possess the fears of Ephraim, and the fears of Samaria, Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Obadiah 1 verse 20. And the captivities of his hosts, and the children of uh, Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zephyr, and the captivities of Jerusalem, which is Zephyr, which is possessed the cities of the south. And this is out of Obadiah 1 verse 21. And the Savior shall come over Mount Zion, and just the Mount of Esau, should, uh, the king shall be of your house. Let me read that again, Block. Uh, number uh, Obadiah 1 verse 21. And the Savior shall come up on Mount Zion, the judge of Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be your house. Uh, now I'm going to switch up the topic and get into that Isaiah 55 verse 6. So lock you up. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah 55 verse 6. See how much percentage I got on my phone? Oh, 10%. Still kind of decent. Yeah, this is a book of uh, Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh, why he may be found, call upon him while he is near. For right? he is very important to the Israelites to return back to the heavenly father, as I've been showing you. So, while he still got his arms and stretched out still, he's got to return back to the Isaiah 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye Yahweh, why he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Why so call upon him while he is near? Today, the heavenly father is not your name. Like it says in Joel, the second chapter. It says, uh, First Thessalonians, the uh, fifth chapter, you know, they had heavy box to come as a thief on it. That's why we continue to be on our block to sound for our own truck. They had a heavy box tonight again. So once all these uh, prophecies come to pass and be fulfilled, they had a heavy uh, box tonight again. So why the heavy box still got his arms stretched out still? They got to turn back into the bed and show the So we got to come back to our heritage and our social and custom our ranks as being the Israelites and being the heavy box show the people. This is other prophet Isaiah 55 verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto Yahweh. He will have mercy upon him towards our power. But he will upon the part. Right, so once we turn back into the righteous path and the righteous ways of the heavy father to the best of our ability, out of our rock side, let the heavy father will only part us from our evilness and wickedness. Once we turn back into the ways of our righteousness, you know, out of our rock side. Now, this is the prophet Isaiah. Yeah, this is the prophet Isaiah, uh, 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation in the fear of your house, that house of treasure. Right, so uh, wisdom and knowledge definitely shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation in the fear of the heavenly body, how that house of treasure. So you look up that verse stability, you know, that goes into having a uh, sign mind. You know, when you look up that verse stability, that goes into having a sound mind and stable mind. You're going to need that in these uh, times we're about to enter into. Are we about to enter into some uh, perilous times? Are we about to enter into time to take the trouble? We're about to enter in a troubling time like that before, just like it says in Matthew 24, verse 21, uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, uh, Amos 8, verse 11, verse 13, the famine of the word, or like the word, like the word, the hear the words of the heaven clock out, this great insurrection, uprise. And these are the times we're about to enter into the application. So we definitely going to have to have that wisdom and knowledge. Like scripture says, uh, you know, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the heavenly body out of our powers of stretching with this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, uh, Remember now by the greater in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come down, for the years draw down. And thou shalt say, I have no pleasant in it. Right, so we've got to remember the true creator, which is the heavenly father's house. And we are the descendants of the heavenly father's house. That's right. So we got to return back to the true creator, which is the heavenly father's house. The true creator in the heavens and the earth. And we are the descendants. We are the sons and daughters of the descendants of the true creator, which is the heavenly father's house. So we gotta remember thy greater in the days of thy youth, especially in these set of times us this place. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nine, when thou shalt say I had a pleasant in them. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 2. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark, nor the clouds return about the rain. And this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 3. It says, In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong man shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out the window be dark. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 4. And the door should be shut in the streets when the sounds of the grinding is low. He said, raise up the voice of the bird, and all the doors of mute should be brought low. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13, it reads the whole scripture. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, for the hour and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man, try to sustain to the children of Israel. Fear the heavenly body, how and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. 
this album, uh, the book of the world, world verse one, you know, the long stuff is man still, still do it forever, still to this day. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14. Right, so we, we, uh, once we turn back into the lost fashion commandments, that's bring us back into life. Put that breath of uh, life back into us and uh, turn us back into the ways of righteousness. Because you choosing the ways of heaven, God, his ways are uh, pure and righteousness. That pertains to us, Israelites. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14. It says, For your house shall bring every work into judgment, and every secret thing, whether it be good, whether it be evil, right? So, whether it be good, whether it be evil. Um, and this is, uh, this is a lot here. So get into that Proverbs, the third chapter. Yeah, this is out of the book of Proverbs, chapter three. Yeah, Proverbs chapter three, verse one. It says, my son, forget not my law, the law the law of the names of the father, as us being Yahshua, our prince of power, the sons of the children of the power of us Israelites. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. Right, your heart is your mind. So you still got to keep the commandments of the heavenly father, your house. Because, uh, like it says in Malachi 3 verse 6, you know, the heavenly father, he doesn't change. Because he's the ancient of days. He still remains the same. Also, I'm going to have to uh, uh, go to verse, uh, verse 6, and then I'm going to close it out. Because uh, my phone is only on, uh, my phone is on, only, only on the, uh, 5%, so it's a lot for that. This is uh, Proverbs 3, verse 2. Let not mercy trip and save thee. Bind them about thy necks and write them upon the tables of the heart. Like the heart of your mind. Proverbs 3, verse 4. So shall they find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh a man. So once we trust, we trust in the ways of heaven, body, and Yahweh. And we should have good understanding in the sight of heaven, body, and Yahweh and man as well, too. Through his wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not to know understanding. Right, so trust in the ways of heaven, body, and Yahweh. With all thy heart, with your heart, your mind, and lean unto thy own understandings. Proverbs 10, verse 6, in all thy ways, it, it says, in all thy ways, and him, he should direct thy paths. So the more we acknowledge the heavenly father, he should direct our paths. So the more we acknowledge the heavenly father, he should direct our paths to the ways of righteousness. You know? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close it out with the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahshua. Once again, out here for the second time, uh, downtown Chicago, on this uh, September the uh, 9th, 2024, on this uh, Monday afternoon. And the Wadi Hab Ashim Shah, as always, for giving us the opportunity chance to come out here to do so. Lifting up the names of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. So, with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to say Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Prophet And the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and the Son of Begotten Son, Bashem, and the name of Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient pedal of Hebrew, the last one, the last little tongue. And I say, Barak the Thumb to the Elders, Mahakim Mahakra. Until next time, I'll say, Kum Yasharala, and the Barbara Shalom.